and welcome to C's News, where today I'm gonna be extremely awkward. Because this is my first episode and I still have no idea what I'm doing. So yeah, this is going to be fun. On this show I'm gonna give you the latest news around the world, but only the ones that interest me. So let's begin. Doctor Who was set to air early in 2020, but it seems like we're getting a new episode before that. Maybe a standalone episode or a special during the holiday season. We still don't have any information about that episode, but we do know that in the next season we're gonna be seeing the Judoon again, and we'll also be seeing Paris in the world. Moving on, the newest Netflix original will be talking about, as the title says, the last stars, the last members of the House of Romanov. I've always been fascinated by the Romanov family since I first saw Anastasia as a child, but I'll be honest, I don't know much about the family, so I guess I'll find out more in this new docudrama, half-series, half-documentary, that will follow the four sisters Olga, Tatiana, Maria and Anastasia, but it also features some of the most important figures in history, like the infamous Rasputin. Next on our list, the summer anime season has officially started and there are some interesting options to choose from. Funimation, for example, just added three titles on the growing list of anime to watch this season. I haven't looked too much into it yet, but I may have some opinions next week on the ones I'm most looking forward to, so stay tuned for that, I guess. One of the biggest news this week has been that Disney has officially announced that Halle Bailey, I hope I'm saying that name right, will be a new Ariel in the Little Mermaid live-action remake. I'm excited to see how she looks, especially after this gorgeous rendition right here. But I probably won't be watching the movie, to be honest, as I have strong feelings on Disney's latest live-action trends. Stranger Things Season 3 is finally on Netflix, but if you've already binged it all in just one day and you want more of it, fret not, cause Stranger Things 3 The Game just was announced for PS4, Switch, Xbox One and Steam, so go play that. With 12 playable characters and a classic 80s aesthetic that is on par with the series, this game sure looks interesting. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't see this coming. I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention or if they kept it a secret until now, but I sure am surprised, and I can't wait to play as Joyce. Probably the only character in the cast that I would save in a fire. Other than Eleven, maybe, because she could probably extinguish the fire and save them all. There have been some leaks and rumors about the Nintendo Mini Switch and I still don't know if I want to believe them, but this time we have a silicon cover apparently coming for the Mini Switch too. I don't know what happened to the first Mini Switch, but it doesn't seem too far fetched to believe. We also have reports saying that the Mini Switch will be smaller and cheaper than the original Nintendo Switch. And honestly, <laughs> sign me up, cause I am really broke and I really want a Nintendo Switch. So the cheapest the better. And for the last piece of news, it seems that scientists are searching for a mirror universe and apparently it might be right in front of us. Physicist Lea Brussard is apparently trying to open a portal to a parallel universe. She will send a beam of subatomic particles down a 50-foot tunnel past a powerful magnet and into an impenetrable wall. And if all goes well, some of those particles will transform into mirrored versions of themselves and if that happens, Brussard will have uncovered the first evidence of a mirror world right alongside our own. You might have noticed that I've read pretty much all of that, and that's because I don't know much of anything about science. And while articles like that are, are really interesting to me, I also never know enough to fully understand them. So yeah, the thought of having a mirrored reality, albeit as far as I understand, without a mirrored version of ourselves, it sounds so fascinating. So, you go, Leah. Here's hoping your scientific breakthrough is just as you hoped it would be. And that is all for this first episode of Seas News. Let me know if you liked it, and thank you so much for being with me through all of this mess in the first episode. 
I really appreciate it and let me know if you want more, if you like some things but not others, I don't know, just let me know what you think about this and I will see you guys That's the wrong... And I will see you guys in the next video, so bye! <laughs> that was so cringy.